So in order to be able to drive a better communication, then as a product team, we continue to brainstorm. And we think that, hey, maybe what we need to do as a next step is really about how can we uh, provide an appealing product so that all the public officers will be willing to use this product, but yet at the same time, at the front end, I'm solving a problem to the citizens by providing a consistent look and feel, consistent UX representation. So this is where we are. We come up with something, we call it a poster generator. It is not rocket science, but what it basically does is that now I turn to the public officer and go and tell them that, hey, instead of you yourself have to use the PowerPoint or whatever tool, Photoshop tool, to come up with some of these uh, posters by yourself, how about I just provide you a, with, a, with a very simple form interface. You just fill in whatever collection information details you want, and by pressing one button, ta -da -da -da, then immediately on the right side of the screen, you can get a consistent poster. And the poster itself, you can print out to be used on the different of these uh, garment housing blocks. You can also, uh, because the format of that, of that image itself is also sort of compatible with the, with the digital bulletin board. Uh, uh, in all those housing estates. So with that in mind, I have a tool to bring the public service on board, to use the tool, but at, yet at the same time, I'm able to provide a more consistent experience to the citizens who, is, who needs to use these particular services. So that itself, um, it, it's a very small story to tell, but it sort of um, symbolized uh, one of the very important mindset uh, uh, that we, we have in fighting this COVID war, which is really this thing about tech stack. Now, we used to think that uh, experience side of things and the more engineering tech stack side of things uh, could belong to two very different worlds. But I think if anything we have learned from this COVID war is really about a lot of this uh, important lesson and a lot of this effort, we want to be able to tech stack dice them, right? So that a lot of the important lesson, a lot of the important uh, implementation, we can keep on reusing. And that would allow us to respond fast in the case of a uh, COVID situation. So here will lead me to my next topic, which is really about the process itself. I think um, since you sign up for this, for this uh, conference, uh, things like you know, design thinking and stuff like that will be very, uh, will be very familiar with some of this topic. Right? So on the top right corner, what you can see, I believe, would be this. Uh, this is our own uh, adaptation of uh, design thinking approach. In our case, we call it a digital project life cycle, digital product life cycle, I'm sorry. But if anything, uh, it, it aligns very much the design thinking principle of we have to uh, start with the user observation, discovery journey, then we ideate. After that, we do a small uh, prototyping, and after that, we send it to MT, uh, MVP. Right? So at the bottom, this is the part about, um, these are the modules that we have come. So for example, on the left, top left, oh, sorry, on the, on the left corner, what you see this location-based search. In fact, that is a module that uh, we have used it so often in so many of the distribution ops in garment, be it the mask, be it the sanitizer, so on and so forth. The basic authentication module is another one, right? Uh, I think Singapore has a famous initiative in uh, Trace Together, right? So this is the baseline module behind. After we solve a lot of the issue, we, we make it a very solid tech stack, right? Uh, make sure the, 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 the user data are as accurate as possible. And this module is being used to support not only trace together, but also things like exit pass system, which is really uh, another initiative in the Singapore government, which we are trying to help to fight the outbreak of COVID situation in the dorm itself. Just now I mentioned about poster generator, and last but not least, there's this benefit engine, which basically trying to imitate like, you know, um, we, we want to help the people in this country. We want to provide a lot of benefit and stuff like that. But how do we provide a most possible user-friendly user possible experience for the people, right? Out of so many benefits and schemes, we just get the people to answer top five, to top seven questions. Then immediately, ta -ta -ta -ta, you are being provided with a customized, with a personalized list of benefits that you can zoom into and apply. 